everybody. Welcome to my channel if you are new. Welcome back if you are returning. My name is Keisha and I'm here to plan for the week of August 12th through the 18th. This is my everyday planner. I take it with me to and from work and yeah, I am planning with this really cute, uh, I believe it's Planner Pixie Co. kit. I know that she's not the only one that used this art, but she's the only one that I purchased this kit from. Um, and the reason why I chose this kit is because it is my children's first week back to school. So, um, the biggest thing that really attracted me to this is the fact that there is a little boy and little girl that actually look just like my kiddos. The only difference is they don't get to wear what they want to school. So, um, it's not my first week of school, but it is the first official week back for teachers um, their contract officially starts. I'm not going to be using these because I have them there unless I want to use them for something else. Uh, like if I have numbers, uh, present in the week, there are such cute boxes. Look at this paper. It says school is cool. <gasps> so cute. Oh wait, I think it's, up that. no, it's like all over. I was going to say, I think that was upside down, but I think it's all over. So yeah, that's, uh, Lots of boxes. Then I have these checklists to add in here as well as these um, cute uh, box stickers. So yeah, if you are wanting to see this plan with me, then just stick around. All right, as I stated, this is my kid's first week of school. Layla is going into second grade and Trey is going into pre-K three. Um, he's officially in school, even though he's been attending the same daycare for, uh, you know, since he was a baby, same with my daughter, same daycare. Um, but then it transitions to uh, pre-K three and then eventually transitions to elementary, which is kind of cool that it's all on one campus. So um, I think I'm going to uh, position these in the middle so that it's not, actually, I think I'm gonna position them here. I was gonna say in the middle so that it's not uh, like one kid gets choice over the other. I'm just gonna put them in, in age order here and here. Okay. So cute. My little boy has like the strawberry hair and then my daughter has the super dark hair. So um, I like these teachers and she looks kind of like I would except for I don't have this length of hair, but I'm actually not going to include any of the teachers only because I love all of these scenes. Um, I do want to put this on the weekend though. Uh, maybe. Well, let's see. Okay, so. Oh, the art is by Kitnish and look at the lunchbox. That's so cool. Oh, I want to use this one for first day of school because it says first day of school on it with a letter board. So first day of school. Let's make sure that this is center. Okay. Then we will do this composition notebook right here in the center. I'm doing it kind of like Erin Condren, you know, like the three layers. We'll use this one on Wednesday. Don't have anything after school on Wednesday, so I'm going to cover the after school, however. I don't want to fully cover it. And then um, we will move up, I believe. Actually, I think we have something after school this day, so I'm going to just start back over. So we'll go top. Once these are placed, it's going to be a lot easier. Mm, middle. And then do I want to use the school or do I want to use, I think I'm going to use this sticker. I just wanted to use it. I feel like these big double box scenes are always wasted, but with my weekend, how I have it, it just makes it easy to do. So cute. Okay. These boxes, I don't want them to go to waste, but also I might not use them. Like I just need to be real. So there's garbage already for that. Okay, so let's pull in, I can't remember how I did these. Okay, yeah, I did do them to fit 
for the most part, which I love. Uh, do I want them to match or do I want them to mismatch? Let's mismatch. And we'll go right here. All right. And we'll do yellow. Actually, we'll do... Hmm. Yeah, we'll do yellow right here. We'll do this indigo. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll put some of these cute squares, maybe, or should I just do another checklist? I have like two of everything, which is kind of cool, but do I need it? No, but oh well. Does that fit? That fits almost perfectly. So let's put pink up here. Moved up just a little bit, and yes, a little crooked. We'll do blue above this one. Okay. So those two are done, but I can at least use the squares if I need to. Then we will switch a roo on this. Do yellow on this part. Indigo on top. I should have used that one that I had already started. Oh well. And then we'll use pink for down here, kind of where we started. And then the blue up top. We'll see. We'll see if that's enough to do. Okay, then I will add in um, I was gonna add in to-dos, but I don't know where I put them. I know I have some, but I don't know where they are, so I might just need to write them in. Monday is Layla and Trey's first day of school. Man, I'm way unprepared. Oh well. Okay, so I'm gonna use a box to mark that it is the kid's first day of school. I think I'm going to use this school is cool sticker right here. And then put that right in the center. Okay. And then I have meetings all this day, so I will mark um, different things for meetings. I think I'll use this like curved sticker for meetings. So it's like the first day of teacher's contract, so it's a big deal. I'll use some of these deco pieces to mark both. Oh, this apple says first day of school, so I'll do that right here. And then I'll use I'll use this little stack of books and the apple to mark that. After school, we do not have anything on Monday, I believe. Yeah. So, that's it for Monday. Tuesday, we just have more meetings. So I'll pull in um, this sticker. We'll scoot it over just a little bit because that one doesn't fit entirely, so it's really centered. And then after school, we have gymnastics. I say we, I know it's not me actually doing the gymnastics. It is Layla, but I take her. Or Dave does, you know, we switch off. I'm gonna do this highlighter to mark this meeting. Okay. Layla's gymnastics. I might as well just keep taking from these boxes. So she has gymnastics after school this day. Okay. 
And I do have a gymnastics sticker right here. All right, gymnastics. And we'll use one of the cute decos. Maybe the protractor. Cute. Kind of blends in a little bit. All right. Wednesday, again, more meetings. Use this little circle or little oval. Okay. We'll do backpack. All right. Nothing after school on Wednesday. Thursday, more meetings. The only uh, little circle one that we haven't done yet is this. Then Thursday after school is back to school night. So we will do that here. Back to school night is a parents only meeting. I also have an HSA meeting after that. So I will also use this sticker to mark that I have an HSA meeting after school or after that, I should say. Oh, I know what I want to do. I'm going to use these cute squares to mark the, whoa, that's huge. Okay, never mind. So we'll do HSA meeting. I'm just layering then because that square was humongo. In the square, I will put the apple. Okay, and then we have back to school night. Oh, we also need an icon right here. We'll do this cute note. Oh no, it's a zipper pouch. So we'll do the zipper pouch right here. Friday, Friday we have a couple different things. So one is that it is orientation for sixth graders. Now I don't really do anything for that, but it's always good to note because we will actually have kids in the building. So there's that, um, because the next Monday school officially starts. Friday after school this day, uh, we have a big school event for our community after school. So we'll include that. And we will put a the cute caterpillar with the books. All right. Then on the weekend, we don't have anything going on, but I'm gonna pull this weekend sticker, maybe, if it won't rip. I always find these weekend stickers to be very sensitive. And we will put that right here on the whiteboard, as if the teacher's letting everybody know, enjoy the weekend. Okay, now what I need to do is I need to put all of my to-dos down, like literally the words to do. They go in these boxes right here. I specifically made them for that, but since I have so many boxes, why not make it fun? So we'll do one to do here, one to do here, Okay, we'll put the yellow one here. Try and layer this so that it kind of looks even. Like it's not gonna be entirely even only because I am, I moved it up a little bit, but one there, one here. And Last one, one here. Okay, cute. And we'll start putting some deco. Nice thing is that for Layla's lunches, I can always put a cute lunch box right here. All right, and then I specifically designed these so that I have space for things like deco. So there's this cute water bottle and Pencils, calculator. This is the cute like alphabet thing as a teacher. 
I feel like you always put an alphabet up. This is like E, the ASL alphabet with it. You can't really tell, but it's there. Um, we'll do the rainbow pencil holder. Some theosaurs. Now we'll start making our way down the page with this deco. This first day of school apple can go right here. I mean, let's be honest, first week is just intense anyway, so it's good to just mark it the whole week, right? Composition notebook. This one is like a marker paint palette kind of thing. It's like a strip of mark or strip of paper where the markers are trying on it. However, it looks like it's a a paint palette as well. Zipper pouch, protractor. Another Walter Boltel. Another glue stick. This one's cute. It's got an apple on it. This one is a compass. Some more scissors. Put those over here. Oh, sorry. More glue. And another compass. Where should I put this compass? Oh, I'll put it up top. Okay. So my deco is gone. Um, let's see. Is there any movies coming out this week? Not that I know of. I'll have to look. But yeah, let's get this filled out and back into the planner. Okay, I'm back. So here is what I have left. I have a couple boxes here. Here, honestly, I think I'm going to use this kit again. I might use it just the next week. Um, just because, like, why not? It's the first official week of my, like, school starting. It's not the first week of school for me, but, like, why not? So stay tuned because I'm about to plan that next week with this, and you can see what I mean. But, yeah, this is how it turned out. It's so cute. I love the pastels, and I'm excited to see what I can do with my leftovers to make it look completely different because it really could look completely different. So if you like this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel, and I hope you guys have a fantastic week. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.